In this video, we will learn about the dominant strategy in game theory. The question is, consider the payoff matrix. We are being given the payoff matrix for player A and player B. And we are being told which option is correct here. The first option is player A has dominant strategy. Second option is player B has dominant strategy. Player, uh, you know, third option is player, both the players have dominant strategies. And option D is no player has dominant strategy, okay? So basically what we are being given, we are being given two players. We have player A and player B. Player A has two options either to run or stop. And symmetrically, player B has also two options either to run or stop. Okay. Uh, these numbers, okay, denote the payoffs for player A and player B. The first element or first number in each of the four cells denote the payoff for player A which are being denoted by red color and then second number that is being depicted by blue color denotes the payoff for player B okay so by dominant strategy what we mean dominant strategy refers to a situation where one player has a stronger or more effective strategy our other player okay or we can say a dominant uh, strategy is the that okay a dominant strategy is one that will have the absolute best effects no matter what the opponent does okay let us see and you will get the idea what exactly is meant by this okay so let us see what happens let us suppose a uh, player b chooses to run we are seeing we are trying to see whether player a has dominant strategy or not for that let us suppose player b chooses to run when player b chooses to run okay so we are interested in this column okay when player b chooses to run player a has two options either to run or to stop run gives him one as payoff stop gives him two as payoff obviously player a will choose to stop because it gives him more payoff than run now let us see what happens when player b chooses to stop again we are concentrated with this stuff here so when player b chooses to stop player a has again two options either to run or to stop here you can see run gives him negative one as payoff stop gives him two as payoff 2 is greater than 1 obviously he will choose 2 that means he will choose the stop strategy here you can visualize that no matter what player b chooses either either he chooses to run or stop player a will always choose to stop here because stop gives him more payoff than run so we can say we can say player player a has dominant strategy dominant strategy and his dominant strategy is stop okay now let us see for player b whether player b has dominant strategy or not okay so for that let us see what happens when player a chooses to run when player A chooses to run, player B will have two options, either to run or stop, okay? Now we are, you know, checking the dominant strategy for player B. We suppose, let us say, player A chooses to run. Player B has two options, either to run or stop, okay? So here, run gives him one as payoff, stop gives him negative three as payoff. Obviously, he will choose to run, it gives him more payoff then stop now let us see what happens when player a chooses to stop okay when player a chooses to stop again player b has two options either run or stop we are concentrated with this stuff here so here you can see run gives him negative one as payoff stop gives him three as payoff okay so we are here here you can check and visualize also that the strategies of player B changes 
with the strategies of player A. Okay, that was not case uh, with player A. Here we see when player A chooses to run, player B also chooses to run. When player A chooses to stop, player B, you know, also chooses to stop. That means player B has player B has no dominant strategy. Okay, because the strategies of player B are influenced by the strategies of player A, but the strategies of player A does not get influenced by the strategies of player B. Player A will always choose to, uh, you know, as we have seen, stop whatever the player A chooses. Okay, so uh, the op first option was player A has uh, dominant strategy. That is true. Player B has dominant strategy. No, both players have dominant strategy. No, no player has dominant strategy. That is not also correct so that means only player a has the dominant strategy here i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you